from your local news leader. A big guitar festival. Yeah, big is not an understatement. You still have plenty of time to buy tickets, though. But of course, Bridget from Cranard is joining us. How you doing? Good morning. So glad to be here. We're we are so you glad to have you. So we were just talking earlier. 300 performances. Yeah, we do about 300 performances and events each it's season amazing. at Cranard Center, and it all starts off in our 50th season with El Nora, the guitar festival, this all coming right. September. So tell us about the festival, how long have you been doing it, and what is it exactly? Yeah, absolutely. So El Nor is a guitar festival. It's been going on. Um, this is the eighth iteration. It's a biennial festival. It takes place over three days, September 5th, 6th, and 7th, and it all starts with the big opening night party on the 5th, mm -hmm. and that is a free event. We have an incredible lineup. There's a Madagascar-based super group of Madagascar musicians called Tocotilo. Ooh. We also have uh, Bambino doing desert, African desert blues, which is just the cool. perfect background for the end of summer. We also have Samantha Fish and Luther Dickinson, Luther from the Black Crows and North Mississippi All-Stars, and all of this is free and a great kickoff to our 50th season. And then we'll continue on for two more days with a total of 29 different performances and Jeez, events in a little over 48 hours. We have um, several great female artists coming in, two all-female groups, Savila doing uh, Latin folk rock, a group from Austin called the Blue Bonnets. Uh, it was a great rock band featuring one of the original members of the Go Go's. Oh my god. Sweet. Gosh. Yeah, isn't that I so got awesome. a go go to that. We also have what? some big names like Buddy Guy, yes. Pat yes. Metheny, um, the wonderful gypsy jazz guitarist Stefan Remble. We are also welcoming a Cora player, which is sort of like a harp meets guitar instrument named Sona Jabarta. She's the first professional female Cora player ever. Wow, wow. We great. also have a lot of events that aren't performance-based. We have some um, live broadcasts of podcasts with Steve Dawson, the guitarist who just performed at our 50th anniversary in April. Um, Rochelle Rosencrantz, who's a luthier. She's a guitar uh, instrument maker. Oh, and she's cool. going to be doing some workshops and demonstrations. Cool. We have these sonic meditation events that combine a spiritual leader from our community with live music um, for these little interludes throughout the festival. So there's so much to take advantage of. About half the festival is free. And you can get that entire lineup at ElnoraGuitarFestival.com or just go to CranardCenter.com and find the link. Yeah. Jeez, Bridget, you got a lot that you just listed <laughs> off. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed. How do you plan all of this? I mean, there's just so much work that goes Well, on. of course, our director, Mike Ross, has a vision for what he wants each season to encapsulate along with his programming assistant, Tammy Kikta. And for the Guitar Festival, our artistic advisor, David Spellman, who's the, um, who's the founder of the New York Guitar Festival, they all work in collaboration to source these artists from throughout the globe and Elnora is really a great microcosm of what we're trying to do all season long at Cranet Center to, to present this diverse artistry and encourage our community to explore it with us. Mm -hmm. We don't expect that you're going to know all these names when we announce them but we hope that you'll go on our website get that season book when it comes out in late June and start discovering what you can really curate as your own season at Cranet Center. And that's really the most fun to go and, and see something that you've never seen before. Right? Absolutely. There's so much to discover and because we try to keep it as affordable as possible, often having many free events throughout the season, it really is a chance to sample and get to know what you might be interested in that perhaps you've never even heard of at this point. So, um, as I said, we've not just an announced Elnora, we've announced the entire 1920 season. Great classical music like CSO, St. Louis Symphony, the Siberian State Orchestra is coming, the Shanghai Ballet is coming for the very first time. Oh my gosh, that's we have amazing. a ton of commissioning projects, giants in the jazz world like Chick Corea, Wynton Marsalis, Chris Bodie, the famous trumpet player. Um, and wonderful projects for families as well. The Flip Fabrique doing the circus style performance called Blizzard. We have Isango coming back doing their Aesop's Fables, Step Africa, a Baziki doing Native American cultural traditions. The list goes on and on. There Amazing. really is something oh, for everyone at Craner Center. Seriously, if you find yourself yeah, ever saying that I've got nothing to do, that's not go to their yes. website because there's probably something going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. It's particularly during the academic year. We are just constantly doing performances. There's so much to choose from. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Bridget, thanks for being with us. We really appreciate it. And I'm just still impressed at all that stuff you just said. So. I can't course, wait to go. Yeah, and it all goes on sale July 20th at 10 a.m. Okay. One exception to that, we're having the drag artist Sasha Valour as part of next season, and those tickets will go on sale um, later in the season because they're free and they're limited quantity. Okay. Cool. Thank you for awesome. the first thanks. Thank appreciate you so much. It. Yes, thanks, Bridget. Still to come, you guys, an upcoming vigil in Danville hopes to stop the violence. We'll sit down with the creator of the event and find out why she hopes to honor those we have lost to violence, drugs, and suicide. That's coming up next.